Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 10 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a nice problem. It involves fractions, decimals, and percents. Some really core ideas that you'll see on all the elementary and middle school teacher certification exams out there. I'll start today by reading over the problem. We'll review some core ideas on fractions, decimals, and percents, and then we'll go about solving this one, okay? So let's start with number 10. It says, in which of the following lists are the numbers correctly ordered from least to greatest? Let's look at this right here. We have these four options, A, B, C, and D, and we're trying to organize them from the smallest or the least to the greatest or the largest. Now, we can jump right into starting to solve this. And that's, uh, that's definitely something that we're going to do. Um, but I think, you know, before we start evaluating this, let's just take a, a quick moment and let's review these numbers that we see here. And just really quickly, these numbers you'll notice are fractions, decimals, and percents. So uh, let's, let's review some of those core fractions, decimals, and percents. Because you, you see these numbers so often on the test, it's worthwhile to do this. Like one very popular fraction you see all the time is 1 over 1. And that's equivalent to... 1.0 as a decimal or one whole. Now if we want to convert a decimal to a percent, how do we do that again? How do we convert that decimal to percent? Well, we move the decimal over two spaces and drop it and add in that zero. So one whole is equivalent to 100%. Just reviewing this core stuff. Let's continue. One half is equal to 0 0.5 or 50%. One third equal to 0 0.333 repeating, or approximately 33%. Just reviewing this core stuff, super important. One fourth, 0 0.25, 25%. One fifth, 0 0.2, 20%. And last but not least, one eighth. Everyone's got to know this, 0 0.125 or 12.5%. Now these are core fractions, decimals, and percents. Very, very important numbers. It's really important that you memorize these numbers, and you see that one can be represented as a fraction, as a decimal and percent, and you see these simultaneously, all at the same time. So if someone says 50%, you see one half. Someone says one third, you're thinking 33%. Someone says one fourth, you think 0 0.25. Very, very important that you see these numbers and can interchange them. Now, let's, let's apply this to the problem itself. You don't have to do all the conversions out. I would say you only have to do the first three. And when you do these conversions out, sometimes it's easier to, when evaluating uh, fractions, decimals, and percents, try and convert everything into a percent really quickly. Now, now let's just work, look at the first three on A. The first one is 8%. It's already in a percent. Don't need to worry about it. Uh, this one right here, 2 fifths, well, I, I've got to convert that into percent. Now, I already know that 1 fifth is 20%. So 2 fifths would be like 2, two fifths would be equivalent to 2 of those, or 40%. So let me write 40% here. Now, remember how we converted the, hundred, the uh, 1 whole into 100%? We moved the decimal over 2 spaces and added the percent sign. So that just becomes 16%. Now just looking at this one right here, 8% up to 40%, down to 60%. We can put a frowny face here because there, this one here uh, goes down at the uh, 16%. Let's look at B. 1 eighth, well that's one of our core fractions here. 1 eighth is equivalent to 12.5%. And look, right away it automatically goes down to 2.5%. So we can put a frowny face there. What about this? 9 tenths? I want to convert it into a percent. I move the decimal over one, two spaces, add a zero. Nine tenths becomes 90%. One half is 50%. Look at that, another one of our core fractions here. Look, we're going up, then down. Our third frowny face in a row. Now look, I'm able to go through, evaluate A, B, and C very quickly and do these conversions out because I've already memorized this stuff. So if you haven't memorized this stuff, start memorizing it now. Last one, D. Well, we're at 130%. Then we get to 8 fifths, which could be thought of as 5 fifths plus 3 fifths. 5 fifths is 
1 over 1. That's, that's one whole. Or 100% plus 3 fifths. Oh, that's, that's 3 of these, right? So if 1 fifth is 20%, 3 fifths is 60%. So this one right here, 8 fifths is really 160%. 2.08, well 2.08 is like, is like uh, two holes. Two holes would be 200%. So 2.08 is 208%. This last one, 10 thirds, could be rewritten as 9 thirds plus 1 third. 9 thirds, well 9 thirds is like three or three hundred percent and the one-third is one of our core fractions is thirty three percent so this one right here is three hundred and thirty three repeating three hundred and thirty three and a third percent the answer here is D big smiley face on D and look at this we used all these core fractions one over one one half one third one-fifth, one-eighth, even one-fourth we could have evaluated if we wanted to, but we didn't, it wasn't a critical one. But all these other ones were. That means you have to have this in your general knowledge bank to answer a question like this. All right, team, the answer is D. It's a great problem to review. Start by reviewing your core fractions and then work through this problem again, okay? Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass the teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.